the ceramic food. I often see this kind on my social media feed these days. Is it the in thing now? Well, they are pretty, colorful, and I saw that they can be customized to have your dog's name on it. Hi, this is Doug Coach Francis and welcome back to my channel. I was in the pet store the other day and while I was waiting for my turn to pay, I noticed I had an area for displaying dog food bowls. And there were a lot of kinds, colors, and sizes. This got me thinking, is there the best kind of food bowl? Are they actually the same? Let's talk about each one of them. But first, please don't forget to click on the subscribe and notification buttons. Food bowls are actually more important than we think, along with food, leash, collar, crate, shampoo, and other stuff. The food bowl is as essential. Our dogs use this every day, twice, sometimes three times or more. How did you choose your dog's food bowl? Did you just grab the nearest thing you saw at the store? Let's start. The stainless food bowl. Is this the one you have at home? When I think about it, it's probably what I see more often because store displays have more than other kinds. So when you're shopping for a food bowl, it's easy to just grab these. Some of my dogs use this. It's easy to clean and store. It's also cheap. I mean, it's a cheaper option. But you have to really clean these. Here, we soak them in hot water. Yes, hot water, not just warm. Sometimes we steam them. We know if these balls are clean when you run through your hands or fingers and you just hear that sweet, squeaky sound. Next, we have the plastic food bowls. These are also one of the cheaper options. It's lightweight and easy to clean. My issue with them is they are not as durable. They tend to easily accumulate dirt. Dogs can easily chew on them and that's it. A plastic food bowl was actually my Labrador Sophie's first. It had two marks everywhere. Amazingly, I can remember how it looked like. It's light blue with content for both for water and food. And yes, two marks on all corners. Now that I think about it, it might have been her favorite chew toy. Another one is the race food bowl. They are so pretty to look at, it gives you my dog's food bowl, matches my furniture feel. This being said, it's gonna take up space in your kitchen or wherever you wanna place them. They are also not cheap. A little bit pricey. I've read that these usually is the go-to for some pet owners who have big dogs, but I also have seen medium-sized dogs who have these. I read articles linking race feeders to bloating. There's an ongoing debate whether the race food bowl helps prevent or actually cause bloat. So be careful when you use this kind for your dogs. We also have the ceramic food bowl. I often see this kind on my social media feed these days. Is it the in thing now? Well, they are pretty, colorful, and I saw that they can be customized to have your dog's name on it. Well, not that they can read it. I'm sure my dogs won't care what name is written or etched on the bowl. If they see food on the bowl, they will eat it. If I see food on the table, I eat it. Not when I'm in a restaurant or the food 
was on the other side of the table. <laughs> Ceramic food bowls are easier to clean and that I think makes them safer to use. But it is not as easy thing to keep because they are fragile. And so you have to really take good care of them. If not, they will break. Um, that sounded like a relationship advice. When they crack or chip, they can hide a good amount of bacteria. One kind that I've been asked a few times is the automatic feeder. Some call it the smart feeder. Though I'm not really sure if they're really smart. What do you think? Well, it's supposed to feed your dog when you're not around. You can set the time and amount of food this thing is supposed to dispense. I don't know, I really never had one. It's just sad when I think about my dog or... It's just so sad when I think about Serena or any of my dogs eating off it because everyone's too busy to feed them. It takes away the fun of having dogs. But hey, whatever floats your boat. It is not as reliable, and I don't think this thing was actually invented for the dogs. It's for the humans. For convenience. It's for convenience. Convenience and dogs don't match. Sorry to burst your bubble. So, do you have these? Mm, why? Just, just kidding. The next time, oh, I, I like this one. When you're traveling, let's just call them the foldable portables. Wow, that's a nice catch name. Maybe we should trademark that. Wait, let me check if someone's using that. Well, no one's using it. These are often made of silicons. Not advisable for everyday use because some of them are very thin. Like I said, we use it when we go on road trips it's so easy to bring that it even fits my pocket. I remember when we used to have group classes on graduation day, we give this away to encourage pet owners to bring their dogs out, enjoy traveling with them, spend time, and go on an adventure with your dogs while they are still here with you. I miss you. I miss going on road trips. I miss Sophie and Cole and Eno. Let's get this over with. Last on my list is the slow feeder. There are dogs who can finish their food in one or two seconds. They really don't eat, they just inhale the food. And this is very, very dangerous. This can cause bloat. Again, read about bloat, ask your vet about it. I've heard heartbreaking stories about it. There's one more that I'd like to add. The no food bowl. Yes. Don't use the food bowl. Hand feed your dog. We use this when training dogs. This teaches the dog to respect the hands. You know what they say. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. This goes for humans too. Don't. I mean, just don't. No, but seriously, you can hand feed your dog, especially when training them. I'll probably make another episode on this. I think there are other types, but these are the ones I'm familiar with. Here's the deal. There are a lot of options, but whichever you choose, it needs to be safe, clean, and comfortable for your dogs. Again, that's safe, clean, comfortable. You can't just have two out of these three. If it's clean and comfortable but not safe, don't use it. If it's clean and safe but not comfortable, you have to get a new one. Now I think about it, cleaning the food bowls can be an entirely different video. What do you guys think? Here's a tip. It's clean enough when you yourself can eat off of them. That's it for this video. Please help us educate more pet parents by sharing this video. Pet food bowls may seem like a no-nonsense, but hey, we can be saving a dog from nasty food bowl right now. All you have to do is share. This has been Dog Coach Francis. Keep safe, keep healthy, and don't forget to pet your dog. I'll see you on the next one.